Howdy folks, it's Genoheed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, you guys may remember a long time ago, a lot of people, including me, did videos covering the Lost Warthog run of Halo 2, which was basically a cut Warthog run from the early days of Halo 2 development, but was never actually finished or used in game. However, it still existed in the game and could still be spawned in, even on MCC with modding, and even in anniversary graphics. But of course, like I said, you had to mod to be able to spawn into it and see it. But with Halo 2's recent big update, well, actually with MCC's recent big update, Halo 2 actually got a little new feature, which is a new skull. More specifically, Halo 2 officially got the Acrophobia skull added to MCC, meaning you could use it not only on PC, but you could also use it on Xbox now. And using the Acrophobia skull on Halo 2, uh, I mean, it works perfectly, it works just like it does on Halo 3, but using that skull, we can actually get to the Warthog Run area, or at least get close to it and see what it looks like in-game, even on the Xbox version of Halo 2. So all you gotta do is just start up the mission High Charity with the Acrophobia skull on, and once you're in-game, just simply fly in the direction I'm flying, fly around this whole building, and you could see uh, you're basically passing by all the later mission areas, but that's okay. We're going to fly past the building and just keep heading in this direction. Now the map is actually really huge, at least the skyboxes, so it's gonna might be a little bit hard to tell like if you're heading in the right direction, but uh, it's you just need to head in a general direction, and then eventually you'll see the Warthog run, and you can adjust your your heading to to be able to get uh, as close as you can to it. So, I do want to mention that, unfortunately, without modding, you cannot get into the Warthog Run area. But, you can get very close to it, or somewhat close to it, like you see I'm doing right now. So, now we can already see it, and if you switch to classic graphics, you can actually see like where we are in relation to the, uh, the giant tower. Uh, that's, you know, the, the actual part of the map that we're supposed to be playing on. So, this is roughly where we need to be to be able to see the Warthog Run area in Anniversary Graphics, and this only works in Anniversary Graphics. In Classic Graphics, you won't be able to see anything. It'll just be just the skybox that you'll be seeing. And the reason why this works is because in Anniversary Graphics, it works differently than Classic. In Classic Graphics, when you get through different sections of the map, it loads the next section when you hit a certain loading point. But before you hit that loading point, the next section of the map is not loaded in and you can't see it. But in Anniversary Graphics, all the assets, everything, is all loaded in already. So even if the next section of the map is not actually loaded in physically, in classic graphics, it, it is there in anniversary. You could see it in anniversary graphics, but you may not be able to reach it. And that same rule applies for the Warthog Run area, because it is located pretty far from the tower, but you could actually uh, fly to it or get somewhat close to it in, in, with the Acrophobia Skull, even on Xbox, and you could um, you could actually just see the outside of it in Anniversary Graphics. And with a weapon that has a pretty good scope, like a... I mean, even the Plasma Pistol is actually okay when you zoom in, because uh, these non-scoped weapons actually have pretty good uh, binocular zooms. Or if you manage to get like, a beam rifle, you probably even get uh, see even closer. But... Yeah, you can actually check it out, um, you know, in game now. Now, unfortunately, like I said, you can't get into it, but it's actually still pretty cool to be able to see it. And you could show all your friends or just uh, see it for yourself, even if you're on the Xbox version, because in the past you had the mod, but now you don't have the mod to use the Acrophobia skull anymore. So, there you guys have it. That is how you can see the Cut Warthog run on Halo 2 now without mods, using the brand new Acrophobia skull. But like I said, you can't get into it, but you can get somewhat close to it and see it in-game, which is uh, something that you can never see before on non-modded versions of Halo 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave a thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!